Have you ever been diagnosed with a bladder infection and your doctor does not give you antibiotics? You might be wondering why. Well, if you have a situation or a condition called an asymptomatic UTI or asymptomatic bacteria, your doctor will not treat you. First of all, they will ask you specific questions. They will ask whether you're having specific symptoms, specifically uh, fever, nausea, vomiting, running to the bathroom frequently, pain with urination, back pain, or pain along your sides. They will not count symptoms such as change in the color or the smell of the urine towards diagnosing the bladder infection. In older individuals, they might not display these other signs. They might be confused and disoriented and have a fever. So in that case, if somebody has a certain constellation of symptoms and a bladder infection, they will get treated. The next question to ask is, are there individuals who have a bladder infection and no symptoms that will get treated? Yes, specifically pregnant women, individuals that are immunosuppressed, for example, those that have had a kidney transplant, and individuals that have had a procedure on their bladder, such as a cystoscopy or a resection of a tumor in the bladder. So the next question is, why don't doctors treat asymptomatic UTIs? The reason is, Multifold, multifold. First of all, they do not want to increase resistance of bacteria to those specific antibiotics so that when the individual needs them, the antibiotics will work. Second of all, the individual might be chronically colonized by those bacteria and giving antibiotics won't necessarily get rid of them.